Okay, so I just saw this post and I'm baffled. All right, so this is a post. It says, today we welcome our first non-binary agent in Valorant. Clove, regardless of their abilities, they will be respected and welcomed into our community. And if we see homophobic, transphobic, or misgendering from any of you, you will be banned swiftly. Thank you. Okay, so my first initial thought was, what the actual fuck? I mean, this is actually insane to think about. It's a video game character we're talking about here. This person does not exist, and we're being forced to gender them or label them. I don't even know what it's called anymore. A certain way we have to call them they them. I mean, to me, this just doesn't sit right. This is a video game. We play video games to unwind, to relax. To not think about this whole political agenda, this whole idea, this whole gender fluidity nonsense, which I don't believe in at all. And the fact that this is being pushed inside of a video game is absolutely mind baffling to me. And I know this has actually been done before in probably quite a few video games now, but this is more concerning because this is Valorant, one of the games that I like to play the most. And I feel like it's just heading in a bad direction overall. The thing that bothers me the most is why do they have to go and specify and say, hey guys, look, Clove is non-binary. I mean, what does it add to the game? I mean, sure, all the blue-haired lesbian LGBTQ Apache helicopters are gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But at the end of the day, I think most people are really upset with this change because they realize that it really adds nothing to the game other than pushing this whole woke political agenda onto us Valorant players. And already the game is kind of in that direction anyways when you look at like the cartoon, the art, all the e-daters, e-kittens, whatever. The game is already has a very strange community to say the least and is just heading in that direction more and more. And just, yeah, Clove being non-binary, it makes no sense. The game doesn't change in any way if Clove was a, was a girl, which I think she looks like a girl, she sounds like a girl, but the developers are like, you know what? Nah, bro, she's just, oh, sorry, they're just non-binary. And they're just like, you know what? We're gonna add that. We're gonna be more woke, more people are gonna play the game. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. I mean, there's probably some sort of reason behind it that I'm not thinking of right now, but to me, there's really no logical reason why that would be the case. But yeah, for me, Valorant has been becoming less and less fun over time. I've been playing the game, I would say, on and off for a couple of years now. I don't play every day. Sometimes I don't play the game for a few months in a row. Sometimes I play a lot every day. It just depends. But yeah, I've been playing the game on and off for a couple of years now. And over time, I've just gotten more and more bored of the game. And the people I used to play with, a lot of people have been quitting. A lot of YouTubers have been quitting that I know of. And yeah, the game's just becoming more and more stale. The esports scene is always fun to watch. I always love watching esports in any game. But the general gameplay experience for me and for a lot of others personally playing the game the ranked experience all of that stuff the game has just been getting more and more well boring really and this change adding this new non-binary character i mean it's just pushing me even further away from the game as it has already i mean sure the new agent is cool i mean i don't think the abilities are that like insane or anything a lot of people saying it's broken i'm not sure how broken it's actually gonna be once it's released but this whole idea, this whole political agenda is just really, really annoying me. And I'm not just saying I'm going to quit the game just because it's non-binary. No, that would be ridiculous. But it's just pushing me away from the game even more on top of the game, just becoming completely stale and more and more boring. So yeah, this whole change is just pushing me away. But yeah, also a funny thing I've seen people talk about is like when they're pushing site, people are going to be like, oh, they're A. And like, oh, how many people are A? Oh, it's just Clove. Like, <laughs> isn't that also going to be a bit confusing? Because usually like, okay, Rain is on A. You're going to be like, okay, she's A, she's A. Right? Or if Brim is on A, you're going to be like, okay, he is A. But now they're going to be like, okay, Clove is on A. They are A. And it's like, what? There's only one person on A or there's more than one person. On top of that, it just adds a, it just adds a lot of confusion in my opinion. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. Oh, they're on A. He's on A. She's on A. It's just like, oh, it's so confusing. Just say like, she's on A or there's one. It's just, it doesn't really make any sense for me. But yeah, let, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you think it doesn't matter at all? Do you think it matters? Like it's important to you. It's not. Do you care about it? Do you not care at all? You couldn't care less. It's just the same 
same game for you. For me, I care about it. Like, it's not a really big deal, but it's just like, okay, what's going on here? Like, it's not that I'm really deeply bothered by it or anything, but it's just like, it's pretty weird in my opinion to add it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you care? Do you not care at all? Do you think it's cool? Do you like the new agent? Do you not like the new agent? Do you like that, uh, the fact that they're non-binary? Do you not like it? Let me know down in the comments.